Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me in this video. I really do appreciate your guys' support. I really do. It means so much to me, especially at times like this. Hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine time. Don't know exactly when you guys are watching this. If you're watching this two years from now, well, you guys know what happened. But anyways, in this video, we're going to talk about something that a lot of you guys have asked me. I don't know why all of a sudden I've gotten a bunch of these questions. Should I go with springs or coilovers? Now, I totally understand there's another option with going with an air suspension or coilovers. That's going to be a whole different subject, a whole nother video. But we're going to talk about springs or coilovers. Which one should you go with in this video? So hang tight. So before we go any further, I just want to get something off of my chest. I know some of you have messaged me or commented about my cheap wheels. Well, actually, to be honest with you, I actually like these wheels. These will always be a classic design to me. I love them. They're cheap. If I bend them, I break them. I can just get one on Amazon Prime and get it here within two days. So that's the reason why I love those NTO3s when it comes to expensive wheels. I've had them before. I've had TEs. I've had CE28 um, work wheels. I've had them all. And so far, this has been the best bang for the buck wheel uh, for me so that's why I run them but one thing that does not make sense to me whatsoever when I go to these shows when I go to these events and I see a baller set of wheels wheels that cost three four five six thousand dollars and I look at the wheels and I look a little closer and I see a cheap set of fifty dollar Chinese made tires that to me just does not make sense whatsoever you spend all that money on this nice set of wheels but you put fifty dollar Chinese made tires on there yeah let me go hide before y'all start throwing stuff at me but that's not the point of this video. Yes, if you look in the background, I have a whole bunch of toilet paper that's been sitting there for months. No, I did not go to the store and hoard toilet paper, all right? So forgive me on that one. All right, yes, I had some coffee, so I have to get some stuff off my chest. So there's a bunch of different springs that you can get on the market, but the most popular ones that you can get are from Race Comp Engineering, also known as RCE. They have the RCE yellows, which I used to have on my old WRX a long time ago, which I bought five years ago uh, before I switched to coilovers. And they also have the RCE blacks uh, with about a 10 millimeter drop. So whichever one you go with, you can't go wrong unless you're looking for that slam look. So when it comes to springs or coilovers, the big benefit of springs, one, it is cheaper because you're going to utilize your stock strut. So the issue I had with regular drop springs were not the drop springs by RCE itself. To be honest with you, I think they're one of the best springs out on the market still to this day, even though they've been out for the past five years uh, on the market right now that you can buy. And if you're not tracking your car, you're not autocrossing your car, those are the springs I would highly recommend to you, not only the yellows, but also the blacks. Uh, but the limiting factor was the OEM suspension and his limited suspension travel. Now, when it came to hard corners, I could feel when the suspension was bottoming out. So when the front suspension bottom, bottoms out, that just leaves the terminal understeer. Not only that, I can the OEM struts on the 15WX were not able to handle those fast transitions when it came to slaloms. If you guys are familiar with autocross, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But at the time, I, I had sticky RE71R tires, uh, which are very sticky tires, a very popular tire when it comes to people that autocross. So at that time, I had more tire than suspension. And uh, as you guys can see here, I have the Pilot Sport 4S's, probably one of the best tires out right now for a street car. Um, not only are they great for dry grip, but they also handle excellent in the rain. I don't recommend these tires if it gets below freezing but i'm not gonna lie uh dipped in the 20s here a little bit and they handle just fine i don't recommend it though but before we go any further let's go for a drive I need a new camera that car, that camera is probably the best camera I've ever owned not only that it's really not all that expensive so that is the Sony a6300 with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens probably one of the best budget combos in my opinion that you can get especially if you want to start YouTube videos 
yeah. So before we go get into coilovers, let me just tell you a little bit of history about myself. I used to be an avid track guy, especially uh, before, I think I stopped around 2011 when I moved to Europe. But if there was a track event, if there was an autocross event, or even drag racing events, I would always find a reason to go. And I spent so much money. Then when I moved to Europe, I did, I would always go to the Nürburgring. I have about, what, 200 laps uh, in total, which is really not that much, uh, especially when the locals go almost every chance they can get uh, but about 200 and less than 250 total laps around the Nürburgring uh, but other than that that's just my history you know I used to be a track rat lots of money spent nothing to show for it but overall it was a great time learned a lot so when we get to the spot we're going to talk about coilovers and the benefits of those like I said I'm trying to keep this very basic and simple I can talk about this stuff for an hour but you guys are not going to watch an hour-long video there goes that sun again Thing this virus thing is going on. There's hardly any people out. Yeah, the problem with the wave. All right, guys, look at that view. We're at the spot now. It's about sunset. Well, we got about 30, 45 minutes before sunset, but we're gonna talk about coilovers. So now there are many choices when it comes to coilovers. You can go super cheap or super expensive. Now, whichever way you go, one thing that I highly recommend is to not cheap out when it comes to coilovers. One, you're gonna have inferior build quality. You're gonna have inferior dampers. Now those dampers, there's probably gonna be no R&D that's been done to those dampers. They could be made for an STR. They could be made for a forward Taurus. Who knows, but you're not gonna have a tuned damper that is specifically matched to the spring rate or your car. Now, when it comes the coilovers or your strut and spring assembly uh, itself it is a major functional and structural component of your suspension system if you install something with inferior materials by someone who's making five cents an hour there's going to be no pride taken in that build material that build quality and who knows um, that's not something that i'm going to want to put in my car if you spent 30 40 thousand dollars on your car why are you going to put a 500 dollars set of coilovers on your car it just doesn't make any sense so one thing you're gonna have if you go with a reputable brand now keep in mind i said reputable brand of coilovers one you're gonna have a match damper that matches the spring rate not only the spring rate but also the car itself that's gonna be tuned for what you're using it for whether you're gonna be whether you buy a coilover that's tuned for the street or track driving you're gonna have many choices to choose from now one coilover that i do recommend if you do have the money to spend are olin's i've had olin's on, my, on the previous car and i'm telling you the ride compliance on on Olin's, not only that, but also on the track. Exquisite, lovely. But if you're looking for a more budget, reliable or reputable coilover brand, I'd recommend some Fortune Autos or Feel 441's excellent set of coilovers. I know a lot of you guys at Autocross probably have had those or had those and excellent quality. I've also had a nice set of racing coilovers from a company called JRZ. Not if you, no, no, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that brand, but an excellent set of coilovers at the track. The ride quality on the street sucked, but I'm telling you, they perform excellent like i said i'm trying to keep this as basic as i can so when it comes to coilover some of the advantages one you're going to have an adjustable damper you can dampen them to whatever is going to fit your needs whether street autocross comfort you can have them girlfriend compliant or track compliant whichever setting that you want them to one you can also have a custom spring rate made to it and also if you do have a custom spring rate, you can also have them build a damper that matches not only the spring rate, but what you're going to be using the car for, whether it's street, track, autocross, whatever that you name it. But those are the main advantages when it comes to coilovers. Like I said, there's a lot more, but I'm just trying to keep this as basic as I can. But let me not forget the main advantage of adjustable coilovers is one, to get rid of that wheel gap and so that you can adjust the ride height to a ride height that's going to fit your needs because who likes wheel gap? Nobody does. And one last basic advantage to coilovers is that a lot of the regular brands right now will come with adjustable camber plates. Whether you want them adjustable for camber or caster, you can have your suspension dialed in or aligned to whatever is going to fit your needs. If I were to do it all over again in my 20 years of modding cars, one thing I would do, I would just skip drop springs off the bat and just go with straight coilovers. I would take my time and save up the extra money for an excellent quality reputable set of coilovers right off the bat. That's just my honest opinion. Don't get me wrong, I think springs are great, um, especially when it comes to the RCE springs. Pretty much most of the aftermarket springs right now, you can't go wrong with them. The only limiting factor is the OEM dampers itself. Now you can get aftermarket dampers, but 
by that time, you're pretty much at a price point of aftermarket coilovers anyway, so just go ahead and go with coilovers. But if you're not looking for a drop, you're just looking for better dampers, one thing I highly recommend is to go with an OEM Bilstein suspension that you can find on the Type RA or the Series Gray, which come with Bilsteins from the factory. Those are an excellent riding, uh, co or not coilover, but excellent riding strut, which is very road compliant. They're actually not that bad. They're not over dampened at low speeds like the OEM STI struts. Just my honest opinion, but if you can find a set, I'm pretty sure that you can on eBay, a low mileage set, one that will fit the VA chassis, and I think you'll do just fine. So in closing, when I ask people who ask me about an aftermarket suspension coilover springs, they usually say they want better handling. So just food for thought, there are three things that you're gonna need for better handling. One, you're gonna need good brakes because if you can't stop, handling's not gonna do you very much. Two is driver skill. That's a very, very, very important factor when it comes to better handling. The better driver you are, the better car, the better your car is going to handle. But three, the most important part when it comes to handling is mechanical grip. What tires do you have? If you have crappy tires, then any aftermarket suspension, no matter how much you spend on it, is not going to do you any good. So there it is. That's just my quick basic advantages and disadvantages when it comes to springs and coilovers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though we're going through all these hard times right now, I'm not supposed to be outside even then you still see people outside. But anyways, that is it. I appreciate you guys' viewership. Don't forget to hit that like button. I know I don't like to say that very often, but if you do, you do, whatever. Uh, comment down below whatever your suggestions and comments are when it comes to aftermarket suspensions, springs, coilovers. I appreciate you guys watching and we will talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys. I don't know which camera, but there you go.